Recording artists are wasting money on this. If you're a recording artist and you've been writing songs for a really long time and you've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on producers, I'm sure at this point, you're probably frustrated. You're probably stuck in your career and you're wondering why. You probably think it's marketing, you think you're not getting enough videos or enough content out there, maybe you think you need more eyeballs on you, but the truth is you're not able to get songs done consistently because it costs you so much freaking money. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna literally prove to you, we're gonna go here on the whiteboard, how much money you're wasting on hiring producers, and I'm not saying all producers are bad, and I'm not saying you shouldn't pay producers if you do work with a producer. What I'm saying is you should just go ahead and do it all yourself so that you don't have to spend money on producers. So I'm not gonna be talking to you if you're one of these people who goes, oh yeah, I just pay 30, 40, 50 bucks for beats. These are cheap lease beats. You shouldn't be using cheap lease beats. They're cheap, they're low audio quality. You don't get the full rights. What if somebody else puts the song out with the same beat? You get capped on your streams. We're not even talking about that. We're talking about full exclusive unlimited rights because why would you want, <laughs> why would you want to be putting out music you don't own the rights to? So for a beat, that's gonna be full exclusive unlimited rights. Yeah, you might be able to get away with like 50 or 100 bucks from a really cheap producer, but on the low end, you're probably gonna to wanna to spend somewhere around like 250 bucks just for the beat. Recording time, you should be recording in your crib, but if you're not and you're going over to a studio, I'll tell you a quick story. I used to record at a studio uh, up in Northern California and the guy was charging me only $35 an hour, which is cheap. So. We're gonna use the conservative numbers here because the conservative numbers, they're gonna prove my point. So let's just say $35 per hour. And by the way, with that, he was requiring a minimum of two hours, okay? For mixing, he was also charging me 35 an hour, but let's just put a rough number and say, again, conservative, $100 for a mix. And then for mastering, again, let's just put a conservative number, call it 50. Now again, I know there's gonna be somebody watching this video who's gonna be like, oh, I don't spend that much for Mixing Master. I have a homie who does it for free. I have a homie who's getting it for me on the low. Okay, bro, I get that. But at the same time, with that comes its own issues. That's a whole nother discussion where, what if he's not taking your music as seriously? What if he's not getting things done in the time span you want? If you want quality, you are gonna to have to pay for it. And like, honestly, these are cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap numbers. Cheap numbers, bro. <laughs> like, they're not even, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not even realistic. That's how cheap these numbers are. Let's do some math here, all right? So we've got, uh, let's see, let's do 35 times two. Okay, so that's 70, so 250. So 250 for the beat, plus 70 for recording time, plus 100 for mixing, plus 50 for mastering. So you're looking at around $470 per song. So let's just call it 470 to $500 per song. Got it? Obviously, this next number is going to be obvious to you, but what if you just did it all yourself? Before we get into do, doing it yourself, let's just look at this now on a yearly basis, okay? So let's take this five, let's, let's take this 500 number. You want to do at least one song per month because, like, dude, if you want to be consistent, you're going to have to put out music. So $6,000. $6,000 per year on just the production of the music. So that's not including... Ads, videos, merch, whatever else you need to spend to actually build a career out of this music thing. You're looking at at least 6K per year. At least 6K per year. That's crazy. If you want to do a 10 song album, do the math, 5K. 12 song album, right? If you want to do videos for all of these, this stuff gets really, it, it, the shit racks up, man. So that's really the cost of how to get it done yourself, or how to, if you outsource it, and dude, that's on these cheap numbers. So, let's then move on. Obviously, if you DIY it, everything is checked off. Now you're spending $0 for, for each song. This was exactly how my, like I got a quick story. I had a, I had a client come in named Ryan B. Uh, he goes by Steven Ryan. He came in and this was pretty much his situation, roughly. Um, he came in, had no music production experience to come work with me. And by the way, I, I teach recording artists how to become their own producers in 90 days so that they can get rid of this stuff. So he came in, he ended up producing 30 beats, produced, wrote, recorded five songs, and then actually mixed and mastered one of those. So just for fun, let's go ahead and just do the math on Ryan B, okay? 
He did 30, he, he made 30 beats. 7.5K. He recorded, so this is 70, right? 70 per song. He recorded five songs, so 70 times five, 350. Mixing, he got um, one song mixed and one song mastered. So basically, the total value of what he got out of working in my program, if we do the math, equals, wow, 8K on the dot. Isn't that interesting that he made, he made, basically made this much money back, and then if you go look forward, he's gonna always have, this was just in 90 days how much money he made back. If you go look forward at the amount that he's gonna be able to produce going forward, it's, you can't even put a value on it because he'll always be able to make beats, mix, master, and record. I can just create all this myself and put it out when I want and do all this stuff that I wanna do and, and just really tap into all of that. Like mm -hmm. there's an intrinsic value that's beyond anything. Like it becomes worth it. The 3K was absolutely worth it. Like okay. I've told my, I told my parents that it was like, I was like, dude, this is the best music investment I've ever made legitimately. Wow. One of my other clients, Devin, Devin Christodoulou, very simple math. He used to spend $1,000 per song. So we can skip all this. He used to spend $1,000 per song to get them produced, recorded, mixed, mastered. He got three songs done in the course of working with me in 90 days. That's over 3K of value that he got. Thank you, Lee. There's a songwriter or artist out there that's curious about getting into this program. I highly recommend it. I'll just do one more. I'll just do one more example, although I have tons, but I'm just gonna go one more, Carlos. Carlos SB. In 90 days, he made, either made, shit, he either made 10 beats or 15 beats. We'll go low, we'll say he just made 10. So he made 10 beats, that's $2,500. He recorded three songs, so 70 times three, it's 210. This was all just in 90 days. Um, and he mixed and mastered Two of them, I believe. So this was 200 and this was 100 for mastering, right? He made back just about 3K, just in the 90 days. Since then, dude, he's put out, I think he's put out five total tracks in, in yeah, I can't remember exactly, but he's put out like five total tracks. So I had literally barely, barely started like learning how to produce. I knew little to nothing, never made a song. I was barely getting started with the whole thing. As soon as I started with him, Within, what was it like, two weeks maybe, three weeks? I had my first beat. I think it was like two weeks, first beat. Uh, since then, it's been about a month and a half. I got five beats. I got my first full song recorded. Wow. And more to come, more to come. So those are just three examples of people that I've worked with that took the belief on their self to say, hey, you know what? I am wasting a bunch of money on this. Why don't I just go produce my own music for free? So we basically got this down as to how much this costs. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna erase this because now you might be thinking, okay, well look, Lee, you got me. I'm gonna produce my own music. But dude, here are the routes to learning how to produce. Cause there's other ways, there's a lot of ways to learn how to produce music. So let's just go each one, one by one. Let's start with the cheapest way. Cause you might be thinking, hey, I wanna go learn how to produce. Lee, I'm on YouTube already now and I'm trying to learn how to produce. So let's call it YouTube is the first one. So in terms of money, right? We've got money and we've got time. So those are the routes. Money wise for YouTube, clearly we know what it is. It's free, right? Which we, we do like that. Smiley face. <laughs> but, but the problem is the time. The time's really a, Big question mark. We don't like that because we don't really know how long it's going to take us to actually learn music production. For me personally, I did it the YouTube way, just so you know, and it took me four years. Four years to get great at producing my own songs. And I'm still learning. Right? I've been producing for eight, but it took me four years to get great at producing my own songs. So there's the YouTube one. If you want to go for free, great, but you're gonna, you don't really know how long it's going to take you. The next route would be, uh, I'll just call it universities. Universities, you know what that means. Universities, okay? So if you wanna go to a university, let's like Full Sail University or SAE or LA Film School, stuff like that, um, I've already gotten on the calls with them and I already know what their pricing is. You can go look it up yourself. Online, it's 16K, 16,000. And in person is 40,000. So obviously we're not gonna do this one. So let's just go ahead and use this number as the example. And you're like, 
okay, fuck, that's a lot of money. And in terms of the time, it's going to take you two years. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm not really a fan. Like, I'm just going to put my, let's say I'm putting myself in your shoes. I'm not a huge fan of this route because 16 grand, it's kind of a lot. And at the same, I'm like, yeah, but at least I'll know when I can produce. But then it's like, yeah, but shit, two years. It's kind of a long time again. Like, damn, like that's, at least I know when I'll be able to produce, but that's still a long time. So on that choice, what's the other choice? I'm gonna give you another one. I'm gonna give you two more choices. The next one is friend. <laughs> I'll just say a friend for free. I've heard this one before. You got a homie and they're like, hey, I'll show you, I'll show you the ropes. I'll show you how to use Logic. Or I'll show you how to use FL Studio. Just come over to my house, I'll teach you. Okay, cool. I mean, it's free. Right? Yay. Free again. Yay. It's free, but wait. Uh-oh, we got the time problem again. Ha! <laughs> you don't know how long because your homie doesn't have a program. He doesn't have a curriculum. He or she doesn't have a curriculum, doesn't have a course for you to watch, doesn't have accountability. It's just your friend. You're just going over for casual lessons. Because you didn't spend any money and you didn't pay, you're not going to pay attention. It's not a good, it's not a good way to do it. So... What the fuck do you do? Maybe you should just give up on music. JK, that's not what we're going to do. What if we did this route instead? Fuck all those, because there's a better option. Actually, wait, I'm going to give you one other. I'm going to give you another one, too. <laughs> fuck, I shouldn't have erased it, but whatever. Uh, online course. What about an online course? Money, time. Wait, there's online courses out there, right? Coursera, Udemy, um, masterclass.com. You can learn how to beatbox with Timbaland. What about that? That's a great idea. How much is that? I mean, those cost anywhere from like 50 bucks to like 500 bucks. Oh, snap. Hold up. We might have it. This might be it. We might have hit the nail on the head. It's cost effective, right? You can learn from a professional, but wait a minute. What about the time thing? How long is it going to take? Well, the course says 15 hours. There's 15 hours of course content. Yeah, but is it going to take you 15 hours? How do you know that? That's just you watching the videos. How about applying it? You think you can get it done? Again, it's a, it's a question mark. You don't know. You know why you don't know? Because I'll tell you why. No defined timeline. No timeline. All right, I'll just write this. Here's why these don't work. Timeline. Timeline, accountability, accountability, nope. Community, nope. Personal coaching, personal mentorship, nope. None of those things. It's just information. All of the information is on YouTube for free. I already covered why that doesn't work. So those are your routes. YouTube for free, music universities, learn from a friend, or online courses. Those are pretty much your options. Now, you might be like, okay, Lee, what the fuck? Like, you got me all hyped up to save my money and make a bunch of money back from producing my own music. Now you're telling me that there's all these ways to learn and they all suck. Well, what do I do? I got another option for you. Pretty simple. Come work with me. Now, I know you probably are like, dude, straight up pitching me right now. What the fuck, Lee? Like, that's super chill. But here's the deal. Here's why. I went through this already, okay? I used to only write songs for seven years and I would buy beats, rely on producers, go to a friend's house to try to figure it all out. It wasn't working. I was like, dude, I can't keep doing this. I'm wasting tons of money, I'm wasting tons of time. I need to be able to fully produce my own songs. But the problem was I went on YouTube, I tried the courses. I didn't try the music universities to be fair because I was like, dude, 16K in two years, fuck that. So I went and learned it on my own through YouTube. And it was really hard and it took a long time and I was spending four hours per day, every day, Monday through Friday for four years. I don't want you to have to go through that. I created Rapid Fire Music Academy, just like I told you about these clients. I created Rapid Fire Music Academy for the sheer focus of helping songwriters and recording artists become their own producers in 90 days. And so what we have 
is we obviously have videos, so we have a course, but it's not just a video course, okay? We also have group calls, we have a community, and you get one-on-one -on -one with me. So you're gonna get to actually have one-on-one -on -one calls with me. So you get all of these things. And the coolest part, in terms of the time, it's only 90 days. So imagine this, Ryan B, I could just, Ryan B, Devin Christodoulou, Carlos, those guys I was talking about earlier, those only three of my many clients that have gotten results in 90 days. Imagine if 90 days from now, three months, 12 weeks, you went from where you are now, which is sifting YouTube for tutorials, relying on producers and all this other bullshit, and in 90 days, you were able to fully produce your own songs. Pretty fucking sick. So if that's something you're interested in, would love to have you be a part of it. Click the link below. You can go find out how to get, get into it, all right? But other, other than that, even if you don't join the academy, like forget that for just a sec. Even if you don't join the academy, I hope that you got something out of this video and figured out and learned. You should not continue outsourcing production. That should be something that you do on your own, that you take into your own hands so that you can make that money back to go use that money for other things to grow your music business, all right? Hope this video helped. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.